Hi there, it's Nathan Williams with Three Step Sites, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your Google Plus business listing. And as a reminder, it's very important to have this listing correct and up to date. And you want control over this listing because it's your business. And so many people conduct searches before actually visiting a business. So you want to make sure your business is properly represented on Google. So before I get into the step-by-step -step instructions, I want to show you a few business listings that are on Google. Uh, we have Bill Penny Toyota. And right here we have a verified business listing. They've taken control of their page. They've uploaded their cover image, their profile image. And you see this little check mark right here. It says verified local business. So they have ownership of this page. They can change their address, their phone number, their website, uh, their title. They can manipulate their hours. They can respond to reviews, change their contact information, etc., etc., etc. So here's another business listing. They have no control over what's going on right here. Google pretty much just scraped the internet trying to figure things out about this business. And so they, they know this business exists, Phoenix Vapor Shop, and they found an address for it somewhere and a phone number, and they see that it has a website. And there's actually 18 people even following this page. However, it is not verified. There's not that little check box right there, a check shield. They didn't change this pretty rainbow paper. They didn't change their profile picture. They have nothing going on right here. These hours could very easily be incorrect which would most certainly annoy a potential customer if they show up and the business is actually closed on that day. And Google goes around and they look for businesses. So your business is probably already listed on Google. You just don't want it floating out there though. You wanna make sure you have correct information. Here's another business. They've gone through and they bothered to verify that they own this business. However, they just left it alone, which is very odd to me. I mean, why wouldn't they upload a picture of their business and change their profile picture? 277,697 people have visited this page and this is what they saw representing that business. And it's really just a shame because it is so easy to change this cover photo and profile photo. It literally takes five minutes and they, they've uploaded photos so they could easily just click to assign one of those images to their cover. It'd be that easy. All right, now let's get into the step-by-step -step portion. Now I'm going to Google the instructions for how to do this because Following a set of instructions definitely makes it easier. You can just Google verify Google business and the first link that pops up verify local business on Google is full of all great instructions that'll help us get our business listed online. Okay, so these are all the instructions and if I don't cover something too well in the video or you're having issues at a different part that I don't cover in the video, Hopefully these instructions will help you, and if not, please send me an email. It's nathan at 3 and I will help you get your business listed correctly on Google. So to start off, we have add or claim your business. Now as you remember with that example, there was the Phoenix Vapor Shop, and no one had claimed that listing. It did exist, so you wouldn't need to add the listing, but you would need to claim it. And there are instructions on how to do that right here, depending on if you're on a computer or a mobile device. However, for this example, I'm going to create a listing from scratch. And you just follow these directions right here. We have step one of four. You can also select this view full list option here. And I'll pop down all four steps so you know what you're about to get into. And let's take it from the top. So navigate to Google My Business. And it says new to Google My Business. Don't worry, all you need is a Google account. It can be the same one you use for Gmail or Google+. So your same Google account can be used for your business or your personal, or if you want to keep them separate, that works too. And we'll just go to Google My Business. And you may already have pages listed here. If you do, great. If not, go ahead and select Get Your Page. And you can choose your business type. There's a storefront, service area, or brand. I'm going to do service area. And what you're going to do is plug in your address. So go ahead and plug in your business's address. Now, if your business is already listed in Google and the addresses match, it'll let you know that that business is already listed and it might give you the option to claim it if you need to claim it. 
or it might not let you claim it. So it just depends. And other times it just cannot find the address and you're gonna have to select, I've correctly entered the name and address. So go there. And then you just fill out this information right here. And after you've entered the information, it'll say, we need to create a Google Plus page so you can manage your business on Google. Please confirm the information. And you have to verify that you're authorized manager of this business and you hit continue setting up Google My Business for you. And then what they're gonna want you to do is verify that you actually own that business and that's where you actually work. So you have to verify your address and they're gonna send you a little postcard with a code on it. And you just select mail me my code and send postcard or if you wanna put in your name for the optional contact name, you can. But I'm just gonna hit send postcard. So I have a postcard on its way to my business so that way I can verify that that's where I actually physically am. Hit continue. Now in the meantime, you can still work on your business listing. It just won't be verified. And they give you a little tour here or you can skip the tour. And there we go. We have our business listing on Google+. Now let's go ahead and make it look a little better so we don't just have that default setting. You know that rainbow construction paper. We don't want that. So over the next few minutes, I'll show you how to make it look better than it does. All right, so let's go ahead and get to work. We have right here, even Google is telling us what to do. So your profile is 45% complete. Add a profile picture so people can recognize your business across Google. Okay, so that's easy. Add profile photo, and we can go ahead and select a photo from our computer. And when you upload it, you can crop it so it fits nicely. Hit set as profile photo down here in the bottom left hand corner. Boom. Now we don't have that blue square thing. We have our logo and our profile is 57% complete now. So now we got to add our hours. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you just select what days that your business is open. You input your hours and let's say you have different hours on different days. You can add another set of hours and choose what days those appear on and add that range. Since my business is online, I'm just gonna set it for 24 seven. So 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. Hit save. And I'm just gonna hit done editing. And it says add photos to showcase your business to your customers. So let's go ahead and add photos. And right here we have our identity photos. So here's our profile pic. This is our logo, which is actually the same as our profile pic, so I'm gonna add the image there as well. And here's our cover photo, which is that rainbow construction paper that we saw on some of those Google listings that does not look very professional, so we're gonna hit change cover, and we can upload our Google cover photo. Make sure you crop it so it fits properly. Hit set cover. And then there are other options, photos at work, team photos, additional photos, and you can add those now or at a later date. I'll go back to my listing now. And it says here, your profile's 80% complete, so save your customers time by helping them find your website. Okay, let's add our website. Select save, scroll on down, hit done editing. And there we go. We no longer have anything else to update on our profile according to Google. However, what we might want to do is add an intro about our business so we can add in our little tagline here. Hit save. Done editing. And now if we want to see what our page actually looks like, we go up here to the top, just hover, and you'll see a Google Plus page. Go ahead and click that. And your Google Plus page will load up. And you see the about information. Here's the story, our hours website, phone number, address. You can see the profile picture is updated as well as the cover photo and our listing looks a lot more professional. Now as soon as that little postcard comes in with the pin and everything, I'll be able to verify my listing, which again, you just go to my business and you see right here, Google has sent you a verification code. You'll click this button when you have your postcard and you'll go in and you'll enter your code in order to verify that you actually own that business. But I don't have my postcard yet as I just did this right now. And this concludes my video on how to set up your Google Plus business listing. And again, if you ever have any questions whatsoever, send me an email at nathan at threestepsites.com.